for those who need to know this, God does not want us to love and accept sin. He says, love your enemies, love the sinners. And that means to love their soul. You want to love the souls of your enemies and all the sinners you see. And by loving them, you want them to be called to the truth of God and to convert to the one true faith. We are never called to accept, justify, and acknowledge or basically go along with sinful ways, which means you want to always pray for their conversion. But with that said, you should only try to morally correct or what is called admonish the sinner twice. And if they don't change their way on the third time out of the love of God and for your soul and that of your neighbors, it is best to cut them out of your life. You've already admonished them twice. They are not going to change on your will. They will only change on God's will, and it is best for them to keep to themselves. But also that means for those who think that their lifestyle is good and holy, you should also admonish them as well. Because we all know that some people in certain lifestyles are not in healthy, wholesome relationships with themselves and their neighbors. There's a lot of promiscuity. There's a lot of disease and disaster and destruction. There's a lot of drama and just dreadfulness, to be honest, which is why I personally don't associate with that community. But still, even though I am born with same-sex attractions, I live in a state of grace and a world of purity. So I know my final destination.